All right, so let's go ahead and let's talk a little bit more about drawing noses. So with noses, the basic construction that we're going to use, we can start up here. And if we had a center line, I, I erased my center line, but the construction of the nose, in terms of its basic anatomy, basic construction, you can use a triangle. And of course, we'd cut the tip off at some point. I had it actually coming down onto the the center line to make sure it was a good triangle. But we have this trapezoidal shape here is the, the glabella. And then we also have the bridge of the nose. Now instead of having you know, the two parts of the bridge, the cartilage and the nasal bone, we just went ahead and flattened it out into one simple rectangle. Because again, to simplify the, the uh, different anatomy of the nose makes it a lot easier to then draw uh, later and to understand just again these basic forms we can then look for them on other noses and in, in other views and so forth and so on um, we have the basic you know this is the the right side left side of the nose part of this sort of wedge shape we also have again the ball of the nose right here and then we have the side of that so the ball is actually part of a dome so this is the each side the right side and left side of that dome and then underneath here now this is supposing that we've already talked about or that you've watched the the basic idea of nose construction um, off the the little circle right here that is the ball of the nose we'd have it sits on sort of a cone that is actually represents the philtrum and we've already modified the philtrum to then turn back on itself for the nostrils. And then we have the simple wings of the nose. So we have the glabella, we have the bridge, we have the ball, we have, we have the, um, the septum. If I said philtrum, that was wrong. This is the septum under here. We have the nostril and over here and over here. And of course we have the two wings of the nose. Those are the basic ideas of the nose. And these are the, our basic planes. This is a plane going down. This plane comes forward. And again, we're, instead of doing all the nuances, this is just basic, that this is a different value than this because this is going down. This is then projecting out. Now it's a front view, so that projection flattens because of the perspective. We have the right side and the left side. And again, we have, again, the underside of the nose here versus the top and the right and left. So the underside of the nose where we have the nostrils. So this is, a, again, a, just a basic front view of the nose. And then next to it, we have where we've gone more in depth using planes to then describe some of the anatomy. So with this, again, we still have the glabella. We still have this part here. Comes down to where the, the nasal bone stops. And then the cartilage continues. So this is the, you know, where the nasal bone will hit. This comes and then locks into the cartilage that creates the ball of the nose. There's a little microplane, basically this comes here and then it drops down before it then juts out a little bit more for the side. And so this is to show, you know, that, that little nuance. This comes down and then it comes out. We then have the ball. The ball has a right side and a left side. So this is where we've taken, this is sort of more round and now we're actually chunking it out into planes. So we can then think about lighting it and we could then create values on it. So because this is, a, you know, again, a, a dome, if you will, we go ahead and we have the, the right side, the left side, this is the top. We then have this um, ball of the nose transitioning into the septum. So this, these three planes are the underside. Then we have the, the septum and then this comes down and it turns back into the, into the nostrils. Again, we've got the, the wings we've divided into two planes. This is more of a top plane. This is as it turns around the corner. Top plane, this is as it turns around the corner. Now, when it comes to planes, these are, again, would be very basic planes of this nose. We could go ahead and put twice as many planes on this, but we may not gain much information. But this is still a simplification. Like this particular plane, we could divide this into three more. This would come down, that would come down three sections of the underside of that wing. And again, just to clarify, what we're doing to understand a little bit more the planes of the different anatomy parts of the nose. Now again, this is just a simple front view. 
And then we would go to the three-quarter view. Now the three-quarter view is the one that people have the most problems with because of the foreshortening and the perspective and these and all those different things. So depending on how extreme the three-quarter view is, we will sometimes see a little bit of the right side. This is, of course, we're seeing this more from the left. But sometimes you'll see the opposite side of this going down the hill. And we're going to be drawing this nose a little bit later, but there's sort of a, this dark line going along. And that's, again, this plane that's going down the hill. And we're catching just a little bit of it right along the edge of the nose. So, again, understanding what we're looking at can really help us as we're drawing and rendering out a nose. So once again, we've got, we've got the glabella, we've got the we've got the the ball and the and and the um, bridge of the nose projecting out. We've unified those into just one shape, and then this turns back and under the septum curls back and, and under, and we have, you know, the the two nostrils. We have the wing over here, the wing over here. We have the side plane of that dome versus the top of the wing versus the side of the wing. So again, we're, we're using this to still get the basic projection of this nose that comes back and then projects out and then projects back into the face and attaches to the face you know, back here. And then once again, we have the same, you know, very similar planes here. Now these are two different noses. So the planes are slightly modified to, to echo this sort of a nose. But once again, we have the glabella. We have, you know, if, if we want to, we could take a line across here for where the nasal bone ends and the cartilage continues. We then have the ball of the nose. We can't see the right side, but we can see the left side. This is the ball turning under and coming underneath the nose. And then with this particular nose, there's a little bit where the, it's a little softer through here, but this fill, the I almost said the philtrum. This is not the filter, philtrum, but the septum. The septum projects out and then comes back and kind of bring, comes back in. I divided it into three planes where it comes in and then down a little bit and then back this way and then back that way. And with this septum, we, we can see the right side of the septum. These are two different planes. We also have the far wing over here we can see a little bit of. We have the left wing here. Again, the wing of the nose, we've divided this into two planes. The side plane coming to the face. And this is more coming up towards the ball, so this would be catching more light. This is on the side. Again, we have the ball where we have the front part. We have the side part of the ball. We have the left side of the nose coming back and down to then attach to the face. So again, these are just these same planes, but now we're projecting into a three-quarter view where this would be coming down and then projecting out and then coming back here and then back to, to the face. And we really need that projection, and we need to understand the perspective and all that good stuff to make this work. This again, we have a profile nose. And again, with this profile, we have the glabella. We have, again, where we've simplified the bridge. We have the top of the ball. We have this little side piece here that comes around, drops down before it hits, it sort of, you know, and then comes down the side and attaches to the face. We have the wing. We have the underside. We have the septum. We have the you know, the, the nostril, all this good stuff. There's even a slight microplane right here where this is, you know, going under, and so this would be a different um, value than this over here because, again, it's, it's this soft little plane as it's turning under and transitioning. This is then that's this nose, in, or similar nose, I should say, that we've gone ahead and taken and broken it up into the basic planes. We have the glabella. We have the nasal bone, we have the cartilage, we have the ball, we have the underside of the ball, we have again this plane here, same plane that's kicking under and coming under here, and then we have the side again of that dome, we have the top of the wing, the side of the wing, we have the underside of the wing here, the nostril, the septum back here, this sept, the part of the septum is going under so it's a little darker, this septum we're seeing the side, it's a little lighter, again this is a transitional plane as this nose transitions and attaches um, onto the face. So that's what this is. Again, we've chunked this out, but that's the idea. This is a transitional plane. Um, and then again, we've got the side of our nose here. And so again, these are the basic planes of the nose that we've broken down each one of these into no more than 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 different planes. 
And these, these different planes here help us understand, again, the nose much, much more easily and will help us to draw three-quarter view noses, profile no noses, front view noses, and then help us to render those noses. And it just is really go going to help us so much as we draw. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this aside and we're going to use that idea, that understanding of our noses as we draw. And I'm going to go ahead and be drawing this particular nose and uh, using these different concepts Chris? Yes. I'm recording, just so you know. All right, I just have a regular piece of Strathmore. They're 300 series. It's they're 70 pound, medium texture. Um, it's out of their drawing pad. So it's nothing special. So this is just very, very basic uh, paper here. Um, again, I've got a nose here of uh, someone who's kind enough to, to pose. And again, we have uh, this really nice nose. Now it's also very, very soft in its anatomy. Uh, you know, so there's nothing too harsh here and so we're going to have to really pay attention to our understanding of these planes as we are creating a drawing of this nose. So the first thing we're going to do with this while I, when I'm drawing this nose here is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put in the basic plane, if you will, of this nose. I'm going to come over the bridge. Uh, I'm not going to add the glabella. The glabella will be up here. I'm going to basically come over and down the side and I'm going to, this is again this side, and I'm clarifying this and I'm unifying these planes into, together because that way I can check, you know, the height to the width of my nose. And so, you know, if you took this, now we could do a, a basic, you know, measuring here if we wanted to, that this is, you know, maybe a, a one to one and a half or a one to, you know, one and two thirds, you know, as far as that goes almost a one and three quarters. So again, if I was, if I was, you know, needing to figure out or decide whether or not I had the right proportion, I could take this and check to see if I have a, a one, two, one and three quarters. And I, it's one and a half. So again, we could go ahead and add a little bit more to this nose to get that basic that basic proportion. And again, this is, and I'm working flat once more. And by working flat, I, in other words, on a horizontal, when I say flat, I mean a horizontal plane. It's, it's not ideal to, to work that way, but that's, that's what I'm doing. And it makes it easier so there's no camera distortion as I draw, but it does make it harder for, for me as I'm drawing to uh, to see the proportions accurately, but this this should work. So again, I'm going to go ahead and that looks like that move, needs to be moved over. This comes around the uh, the muzzle, and you have the uh, the the filtrum coming down off the nose. That little tie shape that we have, and again, that's going to be very very important. I'm also got the fact that the that the wings of the nose are below where the septum attaches to the face and that's important as well that you know that we are that we are aware of what's happening and then once once we've got that we're going to go ahead and break this down so i've got my basic shape here and the shape shape does there's a you know parts of this that are attaching and, and coming off of here and so forth and so on. Um, we're going to go ahead and then just very quickly create the basic the basic shape you know and again where this breaks this is about you know 
almost halfway. And so, you know, you could, again, we could measure this to, to get a feel for that. Or we could just eyeball it, whichever works for us. But again, we're going to go ahead and bring this over here and around. And uh, this is the underside of the wing of the nose. And so I'm taking this big shape, and we're going to start breaking down this big shape. And we're going to find the, the different parts of the anatomy, the different planes of the anatomy that we talked about in this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the... Let's go ahead and start here. So... We've got the, the bridge of the nose here, and the bridge of the nose then locks into the alar cartilage. Now, the, 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 basically, in other words, there's, there's two sections of this cartilage that merge to, uh, the, to create the ball of the nose. And there's a point where this is actually locking in there. And I also have to make sure that this is you know, that you can see that this nose is, you know, what's the, what's the basic, what's the basic angle of my nose and, uh, and the, the nose should, should be in line all the way across here, you know, that should be aligned as I'm creating this, even, you know, this should be, you know, fairly close to being in line once again. Um, we're going to have this, um, We have this coming around, and then this comes back, and this is the ball, and then the ball, you know, then transitions into the septum. So we have this shape here transitioning into the septum. This hits here. This comes up. Now this needs to be a little bit different angle, and it needs to come back like this, just a little bit. Okay, now again, we're going to take this, and this will be this transition point. There's also, again, the, the ball of the nose has, again, down the, the middle of these, there's these two bits of, so there's a little smile here that looks like two little U's or something like that, and that's because there are two small, um, the cartilage divides, and it's divided. So um, that's what creates this little sort of U there, and uh, we want to look for that as we're drawing. Um, once again, now I think this got perhaps a little bit, uh, the, the nose, again, I'm having, because of the way I'm drawing this flat, again, it's hard to see what I'm doing. So once again, I'm going ahead, I'm going to go ahead and move this down as I'm looking for this and looking to see what is, what is happening here on this, this picture, you know, and double checking the proportions and double checking what I'm doing and so forth and so on. So this again is going to be, you know, this is the part that again of the nose where we have, of course, the the, the nasal bone and all that sort of stuff and the, and the cartilage that comes down here to the ball that attaches. Uh, we're going to look for that. This is, has a very soft uh, where it comes out a little bit and then it comes in a little bit, but again, it's very gentle on that. Um, this then is, you know, again, this is coming down and this comes into the ball. So then we have the, you know, the wing. And so we're going to have the wing and the wing comes up over here and the wing of the nose here is in that side plane that we need that's so important. We then have, again, where we have the septum, comes up, curls around, goes into the nose. We also have this part of the, you know, again, where the nose is coming up and over and into the, into that nostril. And then we're going to come down over here, you know, again, we're, Defining this, the nostril, and uh, you know, we're going to keep drawing this again, and 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 go ahead and continue to define these planes. So again, we've got this, the septum here, 
Now again, this person's actually knows we can see a little bit from below. And so we can actually see there's a thickness of the skin between where the nostril stops and what, before it hits onto the face, like right there. And usually you can't, if it's, depending on the view, you can't always see that. With this view, we can. And so we're going to go ahead and put that in. In terms of this, we've got, you know, this would be, again, the side of the septum. The side of the septum then is going to come up here, you know, and then this is the, you know, where this is going to then transition and lock into there. This again is the, again, the underside. Again, we, we're using all these planes that we're thinking about as we're drawing this. And it's going to help us as we draw to get a better sense of, of, this, um, of this nose. Okay. Now, I got to tell you, um, as I'm looking at this, and again, I have to switch my position so I can actually see what's going on here. This has gotten way huge, which makes sense to me because this, this was feeling so incredibly large. Um, I mean, like, out of control, incredibly huge, that I'm going to go ahead and I don't know what happened, but, you know, if that, if that happens to you, go ahead and, you know, start from the beginning and, you know, start measuring and start seeing, you know, if you can get this to, to the place where it's supposed to be. Like, like I was saying, this seemed like this got out of control large, and I was like, ah, I don't know, this is, this, this suddenly became this big, huge, uh, much bigger nose than, than it's actually supposed to be. And again, I, I'm, it's part of the way I'm looking is 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 uh, the part of the way that this is uh, set up isn't helping it, isn't helping the, the the ability to perceive. Now this is again part of this filtrum. The filtrum, you know, is this this actually tucks back into either side of the filtrum. This is the right side, and these parts of the of the uh, the wing, they are in line, but this is around the corner of this bump of this filtrum. So we're going to come up here. That will be the septum. And then this comes down here. And from here, we're going to go ahead and create that right there. Okay, so again, this is that wing. This wing projects out, comes up and over, like so. Let's double check this. That's one. That's two thirds. I'm going to go ahead and cut a little more because I think, again, I think this nose just got out of control. And I, I think this will help a lot, getting this nose to look like it, it, it's not, you know, some gargantuan sort of thing. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and erase this. We're going to come back. I'm going to clean this up. We're going to continue doing this.
All right, so I went ahead and cleaned this up a little bit. So again, we could go ahead and put back in some of these basic shapes. We've got the, the bridge here. Then we've got where this comes down here through, you know, where you have the cartilage coming off the nasal bone. Uh, the nasal bone actually comes up and then back, and this comes out and then in. It's a nice, for right now, we'll keep this sort of an oval. This then is going to come down here, and it's going to lock into the... Um, It's going to lock down into this. So this is the, the bridge locking into that cartilage. So, and then this is the back of sort of the, the ball going down onto the bridge. And then you get the, the actual ball of the nose. Now the ball of the nose is divided slightly. And like I said, that will cause us to get, sometimes depending on the person, a little bit of a smile here and a smile here because it's wrapping around this cartilage that's in two pieces. Um, this then transitions, this is the back side of the plane coming down, and then we start going into the septum. And the septum comes in here like this, as far as that goes. Again, we have the septum here. The septum comes around. Now you have the, the frontal part of the septum, as far as that goes. Then you have the side of the septum coming into here. We then have where the ball, uh, the ball of the nose is then, you know, go ahead and, and uh, we start to define where the underside of the, of the wing is after we get past the the side of the ball which is right through here and then off of there we can see that we have the the wing of the nose okay and this wing of the nose comes here and then it starts to wrap around as this plane is turned back and touching onto the face we then have the wing coming over here and this wing comes over here and then it goes into it goes it goes into the nostril there's a, a, a subtle plane that starts coming down and, and in there this is then the again the little shelf that we don't always see it's the space between the nostril and the and the face again this nostril has it has basically two angles it comes up and over and then with this we can see this little bump here is where the you know this little bump here we can see that and it creates this little comma like shape i've exaggerated a little bit but we get the idea this is again this comma like shape right there and that would be again the, the nostril there we then have this is nostril over here far as that goes like so we then have that this entire piece here this is the, again the underside of the nose so the underside of the nose is going to be in shadow we're not going to render this thing off but we are going to put some basic planes on here with our values Um, even without rendering, we, we should probably, you know, deal with the fact that there's a core shadow, and this core shadow is going to be going, again, where the light and the shadow meet. There's going to be a core shadow running along that. So, we go ahead and put the, again, the core shadow on here. As that, as that wraps, this also is going to be rounding. There's going to be a slight, little bit of a core shadow there. Um... We have the light coming from this direction, as far as that goes. So this is a, this whole plane here, including the side of the ball is in half tone, as we call it. So we'll go ahead and place that in half tone. And the glabella is going to be in light half tone. So we'll go ahead 
and place that in, in light half tone. And again, I, we, I took the time to, to go ahead and correct that big proportional jump that again is part of the again part of the reason is the way I'm doing this but you know you're just that happens and so it's it's a good thing I don't have any issues with people saying uh, seeing me go oh yeah that that's a mistake and that's sometimes even a big mistake you know especially when you're recording late at, late at night like I'm doing now and uh you know you, you can uh, you much more easily get into you know some some mistakes and that's all right. We're always going to make mistakes. You're always going to have, you know, things that you have to correct. It's just the important thing is that you you, you catch the mistake, and you go, oh yeah, okay, that was a mistake. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and correct that. So again, this is this is turning. Um, there's you know an edge here that's a slight edge. So there's a darkening, and then as the edge comes out, it gets lighter as it goes down the side of the face. So there's some subtlety there. You also have where this is transitioning. And it's also coming off some of the rounding, so that's creating a little bit more of a darkening of these planes as they are attaching onto the, you know, this part of the nose is attaching onto the face. Uh, this over here, again, the, the light is coming from, our light's coming from here. And so it's, it's you know, so it, it's very much from above, this this lighting. And uh, so we're, we're again, we're, we've got this in the, Again, our, our, our half tones or our middle values, as, as, as we might call them. Now, again, a lot of this anatomy is very, very soft and so uh, with this nose. And so we're going to have to be aware of that as we're putting in these values that we have to remember the fact that these are very, very soft. This, this um, person's nose is very soft. So I put this in, but I wanted to keep this light. So I'm going to come back in here. And we're going to blow some of this out a little bit. We're going to lighten it up and erase some of it so that it's not so disconcerting. The, that's what's underneath, but the way that the skin is wrapping, that's very soft. The way it's the way it's uh, going around that nose. Uh, again, we have now we could go ahead at this point if we want to, and we could start to put on the glabella, and we can start to see you know part of this glabella coming up and. You know, we just again put on some of the fact that we've got this this part of the nose here, the, the glabella coming down and in through here. And of course we have we have this going around. You've got the, the, the eyebrow is starting to, to form up through there. And then this down through here is gonna be the, the eye cavity. So this is comes down here and it goes again into this person's eye cavity, right? And again, we have the eye cavity coming off, off through here as well. So, and again, we'd have the, the, um, the, the eyebrow starting, and these need to all be in line. So let's kind of make sure that they're in line, like all these other things. And again, this would then be going up and around through the, you know, with the eye cavity over here, as far as that goes. You know, again, we've got a little bit of the eyebrow coming on over into here, and we have the the fact that the glabella is going to be, you know, slight in the half tone, and then these are going to be in serious shadow because these are the ocular cavities where the eyes are set, and all this good stuff. So we've got again, this is going to be those those ocular cavity areas of the face. This again is coming into, into light. There's also a cast shadow we haven't put on just yet. The cast shadow comes down here, transitions onto the muzzle, and then it, it starts to you know project a little differently as it comes down onto that muzzle, or you know the tooth cylinder or whatever you want to call it. You know where there's a, a projection. You know just like. Some of, anyways, we all have again that two cylinder. It's very clear on the, on the skull when you draw it. It's it's very clear when you, when you draw people, and uh, we have to be aware of it. And it's round, and so we're gonna deal with that again. This is in shadow back here. Um, as far as that goes, this is again is the the, the bridge.
comes around and through here, you know, and then up and over onto that, you know, the nasal bone and the nasal bone has two slightly different angles. There's a slight bit of, uh, again, sort of a, a, a you know, a, this is going into dark half tone, almost into shadow going, you know, around here of this nose. And so this is, and again, we're going to get this coming up, you know, sort of through there as far as that goes. Um, so let's go ahead and put this into shadow. Again, this is going to go here, and then this goes up through there. And again, this has shadow that then is going to come down and project onto there. Now, again, we're not we're not here to render the nose out and and do anything, you know. And we're trying to. There's a highlight that runs along here. Uh, but again, we're just going to put enough information that we can get this to feel like a basic nose. Again, we're not here to try to impress anybody. We're not here to show you, oh, look how, look how great this is the most fantabulous nose I've ever seen in my life. It's, it's just not, it's not, it's not what this is. But we are going to try to, again, make sure that we've got where it feels like we have a, a light side and a shadow side and a little bit of reflected light. We want some of that stuff that we need in order for something to feel like it's got at least the basics of depth. And if it doesn't, we're probably in trouble as far as that goes. So again, we can start to, again, put a little bit more value on here. Um, now, if someone's wondering what I'm using, I'm using one of these Pierre Noir uh, Conte Paris 1710 Basically, it's a, it's, a, it's a variation of charcoal. You could use charcoal pencil. This is nice and dark, so the camera picks it up really easily, and, and that's why I use it. Um, and I used a, a Conti crane a lot in, in school, but uh, I never had, we, I never, I only discovered these um, relatively recently, uh, whereas before we would, you know, you'd take your Conti crayons, which are basically like sticks of charcoal, and you just, You'd put a you'd put a nice tip on them. It'd take a while to, to sort of shave down this square chunk. It looks like it looked like um, pieces of pastel, and so it takes some time. But you know you could really get some nice rich darks with them, and that's what that's why you use Conti crayon uh, many times is to get those get those sort of those rich darks happening, and and that's what we want. So again, we're going to go ahead and. Now I tell people never to do this, and here I am doing it, but it's just to, to soften this up a little bit. Uh, ideally, I should be using a, a rag or a tissue or something. Um, not a stump per se, stumps don't work as well with Conti crayon, uh, but if you want to soften a, a nice rag or, or something like that, um, chamois cloth, any of those sorts of things work really, really, really well. A uh, brush, but again, we've got just these basic planes. This again is, is going around the side just a little bit. It's going to be a little darker than the ball. This is then also in, in half tone and it's not as dark as the side of the ball but it's going again getting darker as it comes around the nose through here. Uh, in order for this nose to feel like it's in light we're going to have to make sure that we've got enough value on the shadows um, as far as that goes. This is, this is just a little Again, just a little, a little much. What I mean by that is the values was a little too light, so going ahead and trying to clarify that a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit more clear with the shapes. Um, same thing here with our highlights. Make this very clean, very, very clear as we're creating these highlight shapes on the nose. Again, this is the underside, so it has to be darker. There's a core shadow. And then as it comes back, there's going to be reflected light. There's this a minor plane there that's that side of the um, side plane of the underside of the ball that can, it gets really dark at times. And this is certainly one of those times. This actually, as it turns around underneath here, gets a little darker, and then it starts picking up reflected light as it comes around. Um, this looks like this is, again, a little too light, so we have to darken down the shadows, everything. And 
you know, it's that basic, you know, values thing. Everything in the light should be lighter. Everything in the shadow should be darker, yada, yada, yada. Uh, this is actually probably needs to even, right now I don't think my cast shadow is enough, so the cast shadow should merge a little bit with that underside, which it's not doing quite enough of, probably. Uh, this down here gets a little darker as it comes around. So all this basic stuff, this is just a little darker. We've still got these planes. These are all, This is almost an occlusion shadow where this is kind of, uh, you know, casting a shadow back onto it, or it's, you know, and that's, and that's, you know, getting, as it goes deeper into shadow, that's what that is. And um, again, as we come up here, this starts to get a little darker through here as it picks up that, that ridge. And then as it comes up here, the ridge gets, is, it gets blown out through the lights, and it's also transitioning through the side. And uh, again, this just gets a little bit through here. This this comes up through there, and uh, this is this again a, tr a transition point through the glob the the glabella and all that good stuff. And you know we've got something that's looking like a nose. So I'm going to go ahead and just clarify really quickly the the um, the highlight. Um, and this also goes towards the back. It's getting a little darker. And then on the back side, it gets a little lighter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my needed eraser and uh, pull that out. This will be the darker. I'm going to get a little bit lighter beyond it. Uh, it's because it was getting too dark. It was starting to look like maybe it was trying to go into shadow. That's a that that's a problem. If if we you know if, if it starts to look like it's trying to be another you know, part of the shadow, but it's in the light, that's not going to help us. So again, we go ahead and lighten that up. This is again that. The, this sort of, you know, this the ball of the nose, and the ball is very soft here, and then we go up onto here. And again, there's there's parts of it that's much more soft, so I could take this and soften that down a little bit. Um, again, ideally you do that with a, with a, you know, like a cloth or something like that. And we're going to pull it where it's a little bit lighter, let it fade in a little bit where it's a little darker. Uh, this widens out a little bit through here so that highlight as we call it, it sort of um, diffuses a little bit, widens up a little bit, and diffuses and it's, it's very soft through there. And then again we're going to go ahead and have that down through there. And again we've got this where we've got something that's looking like a nose. And, and that's all we need. We need enough so it goes, yeah that looks like a nose. That's definitely, you know, what we're talking about. And uh, you know, even with that rough start, what happens when you have a rough start? You 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 identify, hey, something ain't working here. Something is there's a problem. And I went ahead and said, you know what, this is just the the values on this thing are just just too far out of whack. They're just they're not representative at all of those proportions. And again, a lot of it is is the uh, the so this is again why you never draw on a on a horizontal plane because I'm I'm sitting down looking down at this and I can't see it. Without seeing, without the distortion, there's all kinds of distortion, as we call it, and the distortion is not helping anybody. It certainly, isn't helping my drawing, and it was destroying my drawing. I had to, I had to stop and go, whoa, wait a minute. Uh, again, I am kind of recording late at night, so I'm also really, really, I'm a little tired, but, <laughs> but thank goodness I caught it, because yeah, I was like, oh goodness, that's not even, that's not even close. I'm not even in the ballpark. I, I'm like down the street. So even though the shapes were, the, the some of those planes were right. Those planes still had to be put in the correct proportion in order for it to look like, you know, look a little bit like the nose I was trying to trying to draw. And so I went ahead and we 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 um, took care of that. And then we said, all right, well now what? What's next? You know. And so we just we kept, you know, you just you just keep on, you just keep on changing until a little chamois cloth we could use if I wanted to, uh, but. You know, we don't want to get you know too far into this or what have you using this is what we want I want this a little bit on the cleaner side so we could keep again and, and look at some of these like there's an edge where this is the wing and it, uh, it goes up to the to the side and so I'm gonna I'm gonna just go ahead and make this a little stronger where that transition is I'm gonna clean this up this way so again we're not doing this is not we're not supposed to be doing rendering here this is not supposed to be some you know, it's representational, but it's not supposed to be, you know, any sort of you know, realism. It's certainly not photorealism. We could take a whole lot of time trying to get it to that point, but for right now, 
this is uh, this is going to be kind of what we want. And then again, it's going into up here into these, you know, uh, you know, into the ocular cavities up there. And going, you know, in the shadow, essentially. And so, this is also a half tone. This is a little too, a little, little too much. So we need to go ahead and bring this. This is going to a, you know, there's too much of a barrier there. This is a, a small, minor side plane as it transitions in, into that. As, it, as it's going back and towards that ocular cavity, you know, this is then going up here into. And, and is, is getting darker as it goes up into that um, labella and so forth and so on. And I want you guys to go ahead and try to draw a, and I have some reference provided, but I'm going to want you to draw a, a nose from the front, a nose from the, from the profile or the side, and a nose from the three-quarter. So again, this is the three-quarter. This is one of the hardest um, noses to draw. But if we can keep this with, you know, this being, again, the bridge, and this is a kind of a, a combination between those jagged planes and soft planes, but this being the, you know, the, this area being the bridge, uh, this being the transition onto the ball. Uh, the ball has a front part and then starts to transition towards the back. Now, this needs to soften a little bit, but that's what this is about. It's getting darker because it's transitioning you know, back. This is the, the, the uh, little line that I had going down the division point, which it, she does not have. There's a little bit of a smile right through here that has the little, just a tiny bit of the two different planes. But we would, you know, we could soften that. Uh, if, we, if we got to where it's so soft I can't tell what's highlight and what's not, well then I'm going to need to put some of the, the value back on there. You know, so forth and so on. But, you know, this is the, the nuance. Remember that everything in the light should be, you know, lighter than anything in the darks. So everything in the dark should be darker than anything in the lights. And and that's if we can if we can stick with that we're going to have a much easier time drawing, you know our 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 noses and all this sort of stuff. This is just a sh little chamois if you're wondering what it is I'm using. Um, and uh, this actually was a this was a lens cleaner. It's not going to be a lens cleaner anymore, but uh, it, it was it was in reach and so it's it's going to work. But it's the idea of the fact that you get, can go ahead and take this and and again um, rent you know if you want to you can smooth this out and. And turn a little bit more into a rendering, but the basics are there. We have the again, we have, of course have the wing, the top of the wing, the underside of the wing, the nostril, the septum. The septum has the lighter edge and the darker edge. So it's got all these wonderful nuances that are happening. All these, all this uh, information that we've got on there is is is, is just very you know, is, is very clear, which is what you want. You want it to be clear, of course, and um, and that's going to give you again a picture that's going to look like. That knows if you've got those planes and those planes that we talked about actually are the representative of the anatomy, and we're able to get those planes on there that that is essentially the anatomy of the nose, and and have a basic understanding of what's going, you know, where it's curving over, where it's going down the side, like this going down the side, and then it's coming out around the wing, and then coming around the wing, going down through there. The better we can, the better we can, you know, draw it. The better we can understand it. The better we can light it, or you know, make it up if we're doing like. You know, concept art where we have to, or inventive art, or fantasy art, science fiction, or something like that, and we have to be inventive and invent our own stuff. We have to know, you know, kind of what the basic nose is doing. So, and and those planes, so that we can then um, put noses on people that are 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 correct. And uh, this is how we do this. So again, I want you to go ahead and give this a shot. Uh, create a drawing uh, of a nose uh, in a front view, three quarter view, and profile. And, uh, and we'll go from there. We'll, you know, learn more about some of the other features. So until then, you take care. Have yourselves a great day. Keep on drawing. Bye-bye now.